So for um, number one, they want us to find the linear combination of 2s1 plus 3s2 plus 4s3 that is equal to b. So I've put in two times the vector s1 plus three times the vector s2 plus three times, four times the vector s3, and this is going to give us b, right? So b is going to be uh, b1, b2, b3. So let's try to find the components of b. Uh, so b1 is going to be, b1 is going to be two times one, um, because it's the first element that gets scaled by two, so two times one, and then plus the first element here that gets scaled by three, plus three times zero, plus the first element that gets scaled by four, plus four times zero. And so this is just going to give us two. So B1 is going to be equal to two. Now let's find B2. B2 is going to be the second element scaled by two. So two times one plus the second element, um, oops, this should be zero here. Yeah, I wrote that wrong. Plus the second element scaled by three. So plus three times one plus the second element scaled by four plus four times zero. And so this is gonna give us two plus three, which is five. And lastly, B3, we're gonna have the third element scaled by two plus the third element scaled by three plus the third element scaled by four. So we're gonna have two times one plus three times one plus four times one. And this is gonna give us five plus four, nine. So we have here that our vector B is gonna be the vector um, two, five, nine. Okay, now let's try, then it's asking us to write B as a matrix vector multiplication of SX. So let's do this here. So we have the matrix S, which has the columns S1, S2, and S3. So let's put in this matrix with columns um, 1, 1, 1. I actually did this too big. Columns 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, and then 0, 0, 1. And then it got multiplied by the vector that scaled it. It got scaled by this vector 2, 3, Four. That's how we got B, right? So that is the vector that it got multiplied by the vector 2, 3, 4. And then if you multiply this, you should get 2, 5, 9. And so, um, and now it's just asking us to double check by computing the dot products row S times X. So let's do that. When we compute the dot product, um, what we do here is we take the first element times the first element plus the second element times the second element plus the third element times the third element. So let's do that. Um, so when we do this, we're going to have 2 times 1 plus 3 times 0 plus 4 times 0, which is just 2. And this checks out. Um, now let's do with the second row. First element with first element, second element with second, and third with third. So let's check that out. That is going to be 2 times 1 plus 3 times 1, which is equal to 5. So that checks out. And lastly, we're going to do the dot product of the third row. So first element with first, 2 times 1 plus 3 times 1 plus 4 times 1. That is going to be 2 plus 3 plus 4 is equal to 9. Checks out. And so that is it for item 1.